Hello, this is the second in a series of video tutorials about how to use the Pickens Arts and Cultural Alliance website. In this video, I'm going to show you how to navigate or make your way around on our website. There are lots of ways to do that. It's meant to be easy and fun and to encourage you to explore. Let's start at the top of the page. Up here we have top navigation and you'll see there are short simple titles for each of these pages. The home page is where you land when you type in Pickens Arts and Cultural Alliance.org into your web browser. That's the main page and that will change as new news is added here in the main column. The second page that you can navigate to from the top navigation events is right here and it's a calendar of events that come in here from different organizations around Pickens County. The support page is a brief summary of our two main supporters. About us, the next page describes the Pickens Arts and Cultural Alliance and tells you a little bit about our vision, values, and board members. The gallery page is one where you'll see different photographs submitted by people around Pickens County about things that are going on. You're welcome to contribute to that. And the Join Today page is where you can get instructions on how to become a member and there's also a little donate button at the bottom if you'd like to just make a donation through PayPal. So from any of these pages you can quickly go back to the home page just by clicking right there from the top. On the right hand column you'll see that there's even more links. We've started the column with categories because we figured that people had specific cultural interests that brought them to this website. So some of the categories we have, culinary, dance, history, literature, music, they're kind of what you'd expect on a cultural website. If you click on any one of them, you'll see only the things that we've written about that topic. So here we've got one about a local food website and another about a gingerbread house contest. If you go to the page about music, you'll see that we had an early announcement about the Twilight at the Terraces concert series, and we had a little thing about the Main Street Mania in downtown Jasper. For each of these categories, we've had different kinds of posts. This one is about photos that you can see on Flickr from Talking Rock. Here's some photos that were contributed from the snowy days in the winter. Here's another one with pictures from around Pickens County. And this content moves and changes. But that's all under the category of photography. You might want to explore some of these other categories. I just want to call out two more. If you're not sure what you want to look at or if you're just interested in general events, you can click on the category general. And that's about things that are of interest in more than one category or things that don't fit in one category. We also have a category that's called regional and that's where we post things that are not necessarily right inside of Pickens County but they're of interest to people in Pickens County. For example, events by the Four Corners Cultural Consortium Sometimes things that happen in Blue Ridge or other parts of North Georgia will be categorized as regional. So those categories here on the right hand column can help you very quickly get to the things you're most interested in reading about. The next thing that we have here on the right hand side is some things that we just are calling your attention to. The first one is putting Pickens on the map. That one is really about helping us to locate all the interesting things going on in Pickens County on a Google map so that people in the rest of the world can find us. We also have a little form called Pickens Place 
where our readers can tell us about their favorite place to go in Pickens County. You can use that form to do that yourself and you can get there from any of the pages with posts on it if you go to this link, Pickens Place. The next section is also to point you to some of the things that are around the website that you might have missed if you don't check in regularly. Something that's called peaks is just little snapshots or pictures. They're thrown up there at random by the website. So some of these will be pictures of events that we have photos of and some will be photos just submitted by readers. The important thing is that these little thumbnail nail pictures will change every time you refresh the page. So you'll get different glimpses. If you are not sure what something is, you can just click on it and it'll show you, oh, that's a quilt. That's by the Pine Needle Quilters show. And you'll see here's two new pictures that were generated. Hmm, what's that strange thing? Well, you can click on it and see that it's a photo of snow and ice melting. And now we have something different generated there. So every time you're on a page, you'll see something different under peaks. It's just another way for you to browse the site with having, without having to look at every page individually. Underneath that, we have a list of some of the different photo galleries that we've posted. Here's one about the quilts. And there are others as well. We had one on Tom Sawyer, the musical. We had some galleries on other photographic events. For example, on the photography exhibit about Smoky Hollow, which was partially supported by PACA. So if your interest is in photography, you might want to go and into the peaks section and make sure you've seen all of our photos there. Underneath that, we have a couple of things with this funny little symbol here. And that just means that we're getting that content from somewhere else. From Tater Patch players, whenever their website posts news or information, it'll automatically be on the PACA website. So you can always find out the top headlines from the Tater Patch players and from Sharp Top Arts Association right here in this right hand column. Below that we have different groups of links for other people, places, and organizations that you might want to check out while you're online. These will mostly stay the same, the same but we'll be adding to them from time to time. The first category we have is for individual artists. These artists are listed here because they're members of the Pickens Arts and Cultural Alliance. The next group is, is arts and cultural organizations. That includes Jasper Art Fest, which PACA supports, Jasper Muse, the Marble Valley, Valley Historical Society, Sharp Top, and Tater Patch. So it's kind of one-stop shopping for finding your way to these different organizations if you don't know or can't remember how to get to their website. Below that, we have a category for the Four Corners Cultural Consortium which involves the Four Corners counties, including these, Calhoun Art Center, the Cartersville Museum, the Cherokee Art Center, some things at Reinhardt, and Georgia Tourism. So check there for events from the new organization, Four Corners Cultural Consortium. We also have a little category called Info About Pickens. So that includes NoPickens.com, the Pickens Chamber of Commerce, and other sites that will give you general information about Pickens County. We also have started a group of categories, links called Local History Resources. We hope to add to that because there's lots of information online about history in Pickens County, which is one of our richest cultural assets. Below that, there's a search. You can search for any term on the site in this little box, just like you could on a Google site, but this will only search for the pages in our website. So if you're looking for an entry that's about someone specific, 
Hmm, I think I'll type in my own name and see what comes up. And there you can see, here's some of the events that I've been involved in. If you scroll down further below the search, you'll see that we also have a listing of pages. Mostly these are the same pages that you saw at the top, but there's a few that are different. We have the form for Contact Us, the gallery, the events calendar, which you've already seen about us, support, and joining. But we also have a special page. Right now we've got a free tutorial about how an individual or business or organization can put themselves on the map. And this tutorial is on YouTube, but you can watch it right here on our site just by clicking that button. And in this video, you'll learn how you can put yourself on Google Maps. We'll be posting other tutorials there from time to time. Now, there are a few other ways, though, that you can navigate around the site or find your way to things that you are interested in. Suppose that you have uh, gone to read about something that's happened recently, and so you go from there and you're looking at this you're looking at the Blue Ridge Writers Conference so hmm well if you scroll down to the bottom first of all you can put in a comment which we'd really like if you would contribute any comments at all the other thing though is that if you find an article really interesting and you want to share it with other people you can use this little handy share this button and you can put it on any of your favorite social networking Facebook and Twitter of course which have their own buttons here but there's also MySpace, Dig, Email if you've had your browser set up for that you can also print it directly to your printer if you click on that so these are all ways that you can use the content and interact with it as well as sharing it with other people the author will also tell you things. If you go to any entry where you see the name, a by and the name, this will tell you a little bit more about the person who wrote it and also the other things that they've written. There's some of the other posts I've done. So I hope that you can see from this that there are lots of ways you can get around on the website. You should never be lost, but if you do get lost, you can always just scroll to the top of the page and click on Home. That'll take you right back to the beginning. Hope that this tutorial has been helpful. Please join us again.